Let me, let me express, let me express my thanks to the historic slate of candidates. South Scandal. South Scandal. In 2006, Obama mocked and ridiculed the books of Leviticus, Deuteronomy, even laughing at the Sermon on the Mount taking those passages painfully out of context. Should we go with uh, Leviticus, which uh, suggests slavery is okay? Or we could go uh, with uh, Deuteronomy, which suggests stoning your child? Or should we just stick to the Sermon on the Mount? A passage that is so radical that it's doubtful that our own Defense Department would survive its application. Then Senator Obama had this to say. Folks haven't been reading their Bible. Yeah. You are absolutely right that okay. John McCain has not okay. uh, talked about my Muslim faith, and you're absolutely right that that has not Christian come faith. Uh, my, my Christian faith. Did Jesus really reveal the name of the Antichrist? I will report the facts. You can decide. In Luke chapter 10, verse 18, Jesus said these words, And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning falling from the heavens. These words are written in Greek and translated to English. However, Jesus spoke these words originally in Aramaic, which is the most ancient form of Hebrew. As you know, the Old Testament was written in Hebrew. If a modern Jewish rabbi were to speak these words of Jesus today, he would speak them in Hebrew, much the same way that Jesus would have spoken them. So in Hebrew, Jesus said that he saw Satan falling as lightning from the heights or from the heavens. So what are the words for lightning and heights or heavens in Hebrew? From the Strong's Hebrew Dictionary, word number 1299, a primitive root word meaning to lighten or lightning or to cast forth, the word is barak. In the Strong's Hebrew Dictionary, word number 1300, lightning or by analogy a gleam a flashing sword, or a brightness or a glittering, the Hebrew word is barak. So lightning, or a flash of light, in Hebrew is pronounced barak or barak. Now consider this amazing fact. The book of Isaiah is the source of origin for the Christian concept and understanding of Satan, or Lucifer, as Isaiah calls him, in chapter 14, especially in verses 12 through 19. In Isaiah chapter 14, verse 14, Lucifer, or Satan, is credited with these words, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. In the verses of Isaiah that refer directly to Lucifer, several times it is mentioned that Satan has fallen from the heights or from the heavens. The Hebrew word used in this text for the heights from which Satan fell is Strong's Hebrew word 1116 pronounced Bama. Bama is most commonly used to refer to a high sacred place as well as to the heights of the heavens or the clouds. In Hebrew the letter Wa is often transliterated as a U. Some scholars use the O for this transliteration. It is primarily used as a conjunction to join concepts together. So to join in Hebrew poetry the concept of lightning or barak and a high place like heaven or the heights of heaven, the letter U or sometimes O, the Hebrew letter Wa, would be used. So barak o bama or 
Barak u Bamao in Hebrew poetry, similar to the style written in Isaiah, would translate literally as lightning and the heights or the heavens, or lightning from the heights of the skies or the heavens. The word Satan is Satan in Hebrew, a direct translation. So back to Jesus' prophecy in Luke chapter 10, verse 18. If spoken by a Jewish rabbi today, influenced by the poetry of Isaiah, he would say these words in Hebrew, the words of Jesus in Luke chapter 10, verse 18, as, And I saw Satan as Barak Obama. Did Jesus reveal to us the name of the Antichrist? I report, you decide.